Single player selected. You know what, Chip Pants? What's that? I like you in a way. Oh. But not enough that I will let you play this game. <laughs> now, before you say anything, as you know, I'm player one at Pac-Man Plays. Yes, we And heard. it's the last Monkey Island by Ron Gilbert, for God's sake. Mm. I know if we asked him, he would probably agree too. The title of the game may have Monkey in it, but trust me, he doesn't want you running around in his masterpiece messing things up. <laughs> He's been working on it for 72 years, and I'm not waiting one minute longer. Mm. Now let's hear no more of it. We're all going to sit down here and relax around the campfire with a good sandwich and drink and watch Pugman, that's me, be a pirate again. And welcome, friends, welcome. This is Pugman and Chip Pants. Arr. Don't mind old sour puss over there, people. That's just Salty Chip Pants, who thought she was going to be a pirate today. I did. But not on my tickety tock watch. Welcome, friends, to The Return. To Monkey Island, released in 2022. Does this game need any introduction? It doesn't. I think not. So, without further ado, friends, let's delve into the mind of Ron Gilbert one more time. But before we do, let's have a quick look at the settings. I want to see the controls. Oh. So we've got to highlight all objects. That's going to come in handy. They had that in Thimbleweed Park, didn't they? Really nice feature. Mm -hmm. I should add that we are playing this game blind. Mm -hmm. So you might want to bring quite a few sandwiches and drinks. Mm -hmm. Should we take a look at the scrapbook first? For those that may not know Monkey Island. Oh, please be a stroll down memory lane. Hey, want to see my mighty pirate scrapbook? It's filled with my adventures. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a mighty pirate. That sounds like the same actor. I think it is, you know. That's me, Guybrush Threepwood. In the old days, you became a pirate by completing three trials to prove your worth. Oh, good old Monkey Island one. Treasure hunting is important for any pirate. We got ourselves a t-shirt. The pirate leaders were in charge of the three trials acting as judge, jury, executioner, and devoted grog tasters. <laughs> they don't look too happy there, though. They've been drinking a lot of grog shit pants. <laughs> the test of thievery involved breaking into the governor's mansion. The security was heavy. Oh, we had to drug some poodles. It takes me back. But no dogs were harmed in it. <laughs> Mastering sword fighting was more a matter of wits than agility. Defeated the old sword master. This is when I met Elaine, the love of my life. She was governor at the time. Aww. Things took an unexpected turn while I was working on the three trials. Elaine was kidnapped and taken to Monkey Island by the nefarious ghost pirate LeChuck. I scraped together a crew. Carla, Otis, and Meat Hook joined me on my voyage to Monkey Island to save Elaine. They were a terrible crook, if I remember right. Yep, bunch of jerks. LeChuck thought he was in love with Elaine. My first ship was the Sea Monkey. I bought it at Stan's used ships with a letter of credit that I, um, sort of falsified. Old Stan. Maybe the most lovable yet annoying character in Monkey Island. Definitely memorable. Monkey Island was a steaming volcanic mystery covered with jungle and not found on any map. You had to brew a special potion just to find Monkey Island. I made some substitutions, but it got us there just the same. Pressed skull. Everybody remember that ingredient? <laughs> on the island was a gigantic monkey head statue with hidden catacombs underneath. The monkey head opened with a special key that you stuck in its ear. Come on, that's gross. It's a lemon head. There were some people living there who claimed to be cannibals, but I think it was just a show for the tourists. LeChuck's ghostly ship was anchored in a lake of lava hidden beneath the island's surface. We had to use the old navigator head to find our way through the labyrinth. That's unforgettable. I met an old castaway there, Herman Toothrot. He and the locals wrote a lot of indignant letters to each other. I don't remember a little mouse. Mm, maybe we just didn't see it with the little pixels, shit pants. 
maybe. We wound up back on Melee Island for the stunning conclusion to my first big adventure. I made it to the church just in time to stop the wedding. Or so I thought. It turned out Elaine already had everything under control. How does she do that? <laughs> By then, I had learned that ghosts like LeChuck are vulnerable to root beer. It just trust me, it works, okay? Yeah, it does. It dissolves them. It was the beginning of something magical. Oh. Oh, these are from the time I went to find the treasure of Big Wood. Oh, my favorite monkey island, number two, Lee Chuck's Revenge. <laughs> There's an old Wally himself. I met my good friend Wally, who makes maps, and I stole his monocle. Good times. We also spat on him a few times too, if I remember rightly. Yeah, he did mind. The map to the treasure had been torn into four pieces. Which, let's face it, is about as piratey as it gets. Elaine always seems to know when I need her. What's the old voodoo lady? The mysterious voodoo lady at the International House of Mojo taught me to make a voodoo doll, which came in handy more than once. Again, it came down to just me and LeChuck at the end. He was using magic, but then, so was I. That was a crazy ending. One time, Elaine got turned into a statue. Well, LeChuck was behind it, of course. That guy never gives up. Okay, so this is Monkey Island 3. The fact that he turned her into a statue tells me LeChuck doesn't really love Elaine. He thinks of her as furniture. I erupted a volcano on purpose. <laughs> There's not a lot I wouldn't do for Elaine. I got buried alive. Wait a second. LeChuck didn't turn Elaine into a statue. We gave her that ring. We found it down in the ship. Uh, yeah, that's true. We turned her into a statue. <laughs> it was around this time that I met Murray, the allegedly all-powerful demonic skull, after a rousing sea battle. Things backfired on LeChuck because Elaine and I got married when it was all over. Game, set, matchmaker. Well done, Guybrush. This was a great day. Though in retrospect, we shouldn't have had the scum bar handle the catering. Oh. <laughs> no, I would think not. Elaine and me together forever. The daggers are symbolic of cutting through troubles, I think. This is the daisy we stomped on together. The wedding traditions are weird. <laughs> That's either Elaine's wedding veil or my handkerchief. We got them to match. I wrote a great haiku for the wedding invitation. I don't know why you have to have candy-coated almonds at a wedding, but apparently you do. Oh man, this was that crazy time LeChuck teamed up with an Australian billionaire and tried to use a mystical talisman to make Elaine his bride. Okay, so this must be Monkey Island 4. We've not played this one yet. No, gosh, that looks interesting. The ultimate insult wasn't really ultimate or even an insult at all. Or was it? LeChuck and I battled it out on a grand scale that time. Hmm. Everything started because they thought Elaine was dead, so they held an election to replace her. I made a goofy monster out of prosthetic body parts. It didn't help with anything, but I had fun doing it. <laughs> LeChuck and I battled it out on a grand scale that time. So the fact that Ron Gilbert's telling us about these stories means that he's, he takes part in his world too, so he's not ignoring them. That's nice. That's really kind of him, I think. Then there was the time I accidentally let loose LeChuck's pox over the entire Caribbean. Or so it seemed. Okay, so this must be Monkey Island 5? Yeah, that that's right. It's gotta be. I had to wear a hook for a while. It came in handy. Not played this one either. The death card doesn't usually represent literal physical death, except when it does. I went on trial for my life on four separate charges. I defended myself, of course. <laughs> you should have got Stan to defend him. Yeah, all right. Stan would send him straight to jail. <laughs> oh, here's that voodoo doll from the end of my big whoop adventure. Aww. Okay, so that's the end of number two, I do believe. Yes, we tore I off his leg. With this. His leg came off as easy as tearing a loaf of bread. <laughs> Note to self, get more paper for the rest of my adventures. Must get more paper. 
Okay, so that's a brief history. That's neat. So without further ado, friends, let's uh, do a new game. Let's start a new adventure. Casual mode. All the story and all the fun, but with the casual puzzles for busy on the go player. Or hard mode. More puzzles, harder puzzles, the full monkey. For the <laughs> pro adventure gamer who wants it all. Oh, come on. We want it all. That's got to be us people, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. What's it? <laughs> That's the people saying, yes, hard mode. They turn into monkeys whenever we play Monkey Island, by the well, way. Well, I won't disagree with them then, because they'll start flinging stuff. <laughs> Prelude. An unexpected story begins. Ooh. I can't believe we were playing this game. Amazing. Take this, Lechuk! Ugh. Guybrush, come over here. Gently now. Remove my mask. Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything. Just put my leg back on. <laughs> hey, you kids. You're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry. I found them. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on. Let's go. <laughs> Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. It's so lifelike. I wonder if it's real. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on. I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way. You have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No fooling. Wow. Okay, so this was the ending of number two. Um, yes, and the, but those were our parents in number two. I want huh. scurvy They were dressed the same and all. My head. Okay. So let's have a look. Okay, we've got inventory, to-do lists. Junior Mighty Pirates to-do list by Scurvy Dogs. We could do that. We certainly can. Muck around. Hey, Chucky, get ready to run. I guess they don't like visitors. Let's go next door and get Scurvy Dogs. Who does? You know, this layout it also reminds me of uh, number Some two. Some you go have Scurvy Dogs with cheese inside. Like it should be Stan's um, yeah, costume it, it, shop. Exactly. And... The, the location of number two, I think it was Booty Island, maybe? Mm-hmm. I think so. Wakey, yes. Wakey, there was a cannon. Um, hello? Boo! <laughs> He's dead to the world. Okay. I'm interested to see how he's going to tie this together. I the words don't look like words, but there's a picture of a scurvy dog. All right, well, let's get one, shall we? Yes. Ugh. <laughs> I've seen nasty before, but look at the grease. Oh, my gosh. Stinking flies. I don't know if we should eat here. Did you know you can keep a scurvy dog warm by those glasses? are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> I don't want to hear no jokes about uh, faulty headlamps. <laughs> you kids better have money. Uh, yeah, we've got all kinds of money. Um, Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight, that's money that grown-ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. Good for you. You can have a couple of dogs if you give me one. Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? <laughs> Turn on the charm, Pug. Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. Mm. I guess never mind. 
Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. All right, fair enough. Okay, tab key highlights up areas. Chris, they call a scurvy dog. It looks like they need a swabby in here. I'll never be the ship's swabby. That is really, really low. God, it's like he's gobbing in his hand. Paper. That's disgusting. I don't, I'm nothing. I ain't trying nothing. You don't want some chicken feet? Chicken foot chicken fries? fries? Maybe for the paper. Got two pieces of eight? No. Then no fries. Well, if we find two pieces, we'll get some chicken feet for the paper. I'm sure they oh, want some. Oh, I'm sure you, you're right. I bet I bet they're saying yes, please. Yeah, ten pence can have the toenail. <laughs> Best part. Okay, key on the paper. What about leg. a leg to keep you from walking off with it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's snag the key. Boom. I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. <laughs> it says, return outhouse key when finished, or else. Okay. Where's this outhouse? A pug pug man, it's the moon door. Okay. Uh, don't you know that all outhouses have moon doors? Good thing oh, I, I didn't got know the key that, in my pockets. Didn't you say that some of your relatives have outhouses in Ireland? Yeah, but they weren't a moon worshipping cult. I can stand on my just head. Just out using my hands. <laughs> what would they have on the door then? Just the crap house. Good, you unlocked. Lucky if you had a door. <laughs> Ugh. It didn't look this bad though. Come on! Look at this place. I wanted two scurvy dogs at the same time. I bet it still beats Disneyland today, though, friends. Please wash hands before leaving outhouse. That's what you're supposed to wash your hands. Oh, I don't think so. I'm not touching that gunk. It seems more like something Chucky would do. <laughs> Gross. Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? Yeah, Chucky. No way. You do it. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's a floating rat in there. Gross. Well, look at that. X marks the spot. I did not even catch that. It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. Nice little touch. A fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. I need to put on my point and click I have an peepers. Extra tooth in the back. I can feel it with my tongue. Yeah. Okay, we've got ourselves a coin. Now let's get ourselves a scurvy dog or two. And chicken feet if there's any money left over for the people. What can we get with this? Oh, you nasty sod. He did not just do Tastes that. Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs if you want. Perfect! Take them, boy. Oh my god, a fly just landed what are on you it. Getting? What? Just kidding. Here's yours. Oh, there's hair. Ah, uh, I can't look. Are they eating it? Oh, they are. So good. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna want puke. To now? I don't know. What do you want Ugh. to do? It is just like kids when you were younger. You'd eat anything without even thinking about it. Now I wouldn't even touch something that has red dye number 40 in it. Did you know it. your feet won't smell <laughs> if you don't wash them? People, you'd be better off eating something off that outhouse floor. Hey, uh, Chucky, stand over here for a minute. No way. Exhibit removed. Aww. Exhibit? Oh. Yeah, so this is where number two left off. <laughs> what the heck? It's a chilling fat rat. Hello, boys. Let's not go back there again. We'll just get yelled at. At home, I've got a collection of old scurvy dog sticks that fills a whole shoebox. So we've got... Oh, I didn't return the key. I'm going to keep it. Who cares? <laughs> He's going to end up taking off your leg. Find our real parents. Okay. Whoa. So he is continuing on from number two. Oh, 
Yeah, people, shout out if you see me miss anything. Because Papa, he does have the mold headlamps, people. That's my friend D. Hey, D. Hey, Chucky. What are you jerk faces up to? She a vampire. Here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. There. Perfect. See you around the park, sitheads. She did say sitheads, right? I thought I heard something else out of your vampire mouth. <laughs> That's a cool anchor. <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? <laughs> you could skip the dialogue. Oh. Shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying Maybe the people want to learn about ship. anchors, though. They started making them bigger and bigger. God rush doesn't. <laughs> oh, do gotta be sleepy. <laughs> then people notice what happened when you missed the other ship and hit the sea bottom instead. Okay, she the is going on quite a bit. But the older design went out of... You can still find the old... She's a yakka. She's still What's going. Plummeting. With anchor, the little flanges at the tips are at most <laughs> anchors. About 30 all kinds of people and... But the only way they get the word anchor <laughs> wow. comes from they're called that because when you stop in them, yeah, that kind <laughs> Finally, she's done. If you missed anything, you can press the comma to see previous lines. Oh, that's press cool. Press down arrow and up arrow. Okay, cool. You want to zoom home, to the I've goods. I've got a collection of old spermy dog sticks that fills a whole shoebox. Let's make a pack, people. Let's never, ever talk about anchors again. Ever. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Right, what did she write down on the list? Whoa. Bloody hell. Beat Chucky in a race. Feed the duck. Add some sauce to the scurvy dog. Practice sword fighting. Find a four-leaf clover. Make a wish at the wishing well. Find our parents. All right, well, I'm going to use the old tab. Some people are going to say that's cheating. But it's just going to save me doing this, people, up and down on the screen. Right. Mm -hmm. Like you're a fly. I, I like that feature in a point and click now. Couldn't live without that. Let's race Chucky, shall we? Hey, Chucky. Want to race? You're on. Oh, kick his I'll ass. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Go, Bug! Oh, you said cheat inside. Oh, I should have known better. Yeah. Get back here, Darn. Chucky. We're doing that again. You up for another race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! Boom. Oh, there we <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. He only hit I his head. Two scurvy dogs at the same time. Sure you did, Chucky. Okay, should we talk to them? Excuse me. Yes. Do you have some of your bread to feed the duck? I don't think so. We brought it for ourselves. A little bit stingy. You just giving it to Excuse the duck. Me. Yes. Will you pretend to be our parents again? What do you mean, again? Run along and find your real parents. Okay, so they're not our parents. Okay. Uh, can we feed... I have an extra toot in the back. The scurvy duck to the duck? Ducks are omnivores. I bet he'd like some. I bet he would too. I'm saving this scurvy dog for myself. You should feed him the fly then, on the scurvy dog. <laughs> What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. Oh, you're not going to put it on there, are you? Please don't. Did you know you can keep a scurvy dog warm by sticking it in your armpit? I did not know that. You should put that on your scurry dog. <laughs> oh. And then rub it in your armpit. For extra warmth. Uh-huh. Oh, God, no. All right, let's take a bite, people. Brace yourself. Uh-huh. Yeah. My goodness. There's grass in there. There's white <laughs> gob. That was fungi, Chippens. That wasn't grass. <laughs> oh. I'll give it to little guy brush, he's brave. I think that was ketchup. Or Whoops. stupid. <laughs> well, how do we feed this duck? Oh, what's this? Something with that bread. Has it to breaks. be. They call a scurvy duck. I wonder what's in that basket. 
Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days. No regard for personal property. And no respect for your elders. I have half a mind to give you a piece of my mind. And I've got the other half. Hmm. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay, blah, are they blah, distracted? Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> How rude. Nice one. You know, the key to this game, friends, is pinching as much as you can, because you know what? We are a pirate. That's true, you are a pirate, Pug. I have an extra tooth in the back. I can feel it with my tongue. I stole it from that couple. It's about the only decent food I've seen in this game. To be. Exactly, I'd rather eat that than the scurvy dog. Let's see if our Quackers likes it. He does, you know. He's got a grin on his face. You know what I'm noticing is that your commands, you don't have to do, you know, six different commands. I, you know what? I like that. We previously played the first two Monkey Islands, mm -hmm. and it can get a bit overwhelming with the pull, push, pick up, look you at, mm -hmm. you know? Practice sword fighting. <laughs> Let's be frank. You can never hope to beat me. No way! You'll never catch up to my. Oh, level. that's very cheesy, Ron. I win! I win! But we like that Pugman uh -huh. place. <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. <laughs> well, anyway, that was fun. Okay, we're knocking this list down like nobody's business. I want to ride on that horsey back there. You'd be taking that duck home with your chip pants off. I, I would do that too. I can feel it with my tongue. Do not pick the four-leaf clovers. <laughs> As if. Let's look for a four-leaf clover. Okay. Good luck with that. What is she, like the park police? She's a vampire, Chip Pants. Just be careful of your neck. <laughs> I found one. You oh, found one so first go with your headlamps? <laughs> What are you trying to say about my headlamps, Chip Pants? That they're bad, that they're awful. I have awesome headlamps. Look at that. I just see that loot from a mile away. I should throw my coin in and make a wish. <laughs> hmm. I don't know about that. There's just no way that Pugman would do this in real life. I know. It's kind of a waste of a good coin. Okay. I wish Chucky had a moustache. <laughs> I wish D would disappear. D disappear. You want to do D disappear? Yeah, let's try that one. I wish D would disappear. What? Hey, neat. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I appreciate the charm. I miss that in this world. All right. Oh, hello. You look just like me. The Dad! Hey kids, having fun? Yeah, we got scurvy dogs! Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures! We just did Big Whoop! Big Whoop? Oh boy, that takes me back. I like it when Chucky asks me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun! But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where oh. you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. That's sure, true. But that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding the secret of Monkey Island. Oh. Is this a long story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go um, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. So Guybrush has a son. That's cool. I'd call him Boybrush. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. I'm getting the tingles. 
deep in the Caribbean. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling the build-up, people. The island of Melee. Ah, oh, chip pants and paper. I just got goosebumps all over my back. That music. Oh, it's been such a long time. It's been at least 104 years since we've been here, chip pants. <laughs> Mr. Ron Gilbert, thank you. You did this in secret, and it was an amazing gift to the world. This is where we all hold hands and sway to the awesome music of Monkey Island. Get your lighters out, people, and hold it up to Mr. Ron Gilbert. <laughs> this is still your ringtone, isn't it? It is. It's man? bringing a tear to my eye. I don't often get emotional, people. But Monkey Island music may just do it. Tinky game engine. God, it's good. <sighs> Looks like we've got Lee Chuck's ship down there. He is parked at the dock. He's parked. Don't know how I feel about that. We are finally going to discover the secret to Monkey Island. Hopefully. Part one, a friendly place. Uh, feels good to be back on Melee Island. It certainly the does. The pirating in the Caribbean, where every good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling. Or sailing in this case. Hi. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Remember me? Haven't seen you in a while, Threepwood. What have you been up to? Well, you know, freebooting mostly, swashing buckles and so on. But now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, you're sailing with LeChuck. What? LeChuck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? <laughs> ah, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. Ship's just here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Anyway, no, I'm not sailing with LeChuck. You know my history with him. Mm. LeChuck kidnapped my wife. He's always had designs on her. I sailed to Monkey Island to find them and get her back. Oh, I thought you weren't married yet when that happened. And didn't she more or less rescue herself? It's kind That's of true. not the point. <laughs> He's an evil zombie ghost pirate terror of the seas, and sometimes the land. A nefarious, conniving, murdering scallywag. A depraved, ruthless villain. And a loud talker. And I'm not those things. They say opposites attract, but what do I know? We've been enemies for my whole career. Everywhere I go, there he is. He plagues me. He's my nemesis. Funny. He said the same thing about you. You've been talking to LeChuck? That guy steals all my best ideas. Are you sure it isn't the other way around? Seems like he was here first. I don't know how he found out, but I'm sure he's just doing this to get one up on me. That's true, though. They said that LeChuck found the secret to Monkey Island. So are they brothers, though, right? Uh, I think they are. <sighs> I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. The chuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. Well, I'm gonna hire a ship and a crew and beat him to the punch. Just as soon as I can get someone to back the venture. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. In that case, you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders at the scum bar. Of course. Exactly. That's why I came to Melee. It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the details. Scum bar. By the docks. Long table in the back. I know where I'm going. We'll see. Of course we know where we're going, don't we, people? Of course we do. Look at old Hootie, he's no. <laughs> a mini lookout. There's a certain resemblance here. Yes, it looks a lot like an owl, doesn't it? Well, it is an owl, isn't it? Even I can see that with my headlamps. <laughs> Daft lookout. Oh, Squeaker's the mouse, the third lookout. My business right now <laughs> is down those stairs with three pirate leaders and the fat wad of cash they're going to give me. Oh, let's get there. Pugman, you know the way. We all know the way to the scum bar. We do know where we're going. We're all experts of the old Mealy Island. I bet you could even get there blindfolded. In your case, eyes wide open. Excuse me? <laughs> you know what? 
I'm starting to like the graphics. I know what you mean. Now hear me out, friends, don't shoot me. I didn't think I would, but the animations bring it to life. It's beautiful. So look at this poster. Re-elect Governor Carla. She's dedicated to dedication. Wait a second, Carla? That's the Swordmaster from number one. She's a mutinous scallywag. What's she doing as the governor? A little bit. She was kind of a lazy crewmate. What was Lee Chuck's ship? I better get cracking if I want to get to the secret before that scheming blackguard. It's a skeleton out front. Okay. Let's go to Scum Bar first. Ooh. Some things never change. The Scum Bar will be here as long as there are pirates. Damn pirate wannabes. <laughs> We're gonna steal that sign, Pug. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. A little bit of a different layout. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. Don't recognize you. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. Where's the loom guy? I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. And the chandelier. Where's the guy swinging from the <laughs> chandelier? <laughs> Just calm down a bit in this time. It's a book for storing collectible trivia cards. Looks like someone just left it here unattended. Yar. Well, as we're a pirate, we're gonna pinch it. <laughs> What's this? What is it? In the back of the scum bar is... Ooh, oh. trivia, people. What's it gonna be? A giant whale, a fishing mm. trophy, the cellar, the kitchen. Of course, it's the kitchen. Ah, oh, it's the kitchen. <gasps> oh, I hope we get these all throughout. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, keep, everybody keep your peepers open because Pugman's not going to be able to catch them all. We're, we're going to get every single one, aren't we? Definitely. Look out for Spiffy too, Pugman. Looks like a circus act. Maybe. Could that be the Fettuccini brothers? <gasps> oh, getting the tingles again. Have you seen the pirate leaders around? This is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. We're the pirate leaders. Get lost. Don't look like the pirate leaders to me. I hadn't heard there was a change of leadership. Oh, no. Did nobody remember to notify you? Maybe your party invite got lost in the mail. Hmm. Don't like it. Where are the three <laughs> older guys who used to hold court here? Who cares? Probably crying in an alley somewhere, wishing they were still relevant. Making up trials for each other and writing memoirs that no one will read. What? Is it you I should talk to about financing an expedition? An expedition? Who is it that you think you are exactly? She doesn't know who we are. Inform her. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Probably you've heard of me. Probably not. Permission to slaughter the annoying old wastrel man, Captain Madison? Huh. Wait, it was Captain Madison? She's like famous. I've got her on a trading card. Her plunder stats are amazing. <laughs> plunder stats aren't everything. <laughs> then the others were Captain Lila and Captain Trent. It was Lila who threatened to kill you? Look, they weren't that great, okay? <laughs> Listen to the story. Want me to slaughter him? Don't bother. He's just a harmless hack who thinks he has a good idea for a pirate raid. It's not exactly a raid. What else would we be interested in? I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. You're wasting our time. The secret? I didn't think that was even a real thing. Hmm. It's a prize of incalculable monetary value. I don't know about incalculable. Quick, who can count to zero the fastest? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sensing some reluctance, but hear me out. They have got Guybrush's voice acting down to a T. It's perfect for him. Mm -hmm. Would you at least consider advancing me some funds? It's a surefire investment. Triple your money or your money back. Not interested. I could make it worth your while to help me hire a crew. The percentage of their earnings or something? No one in here wants to chase your pipe dream. Could you at least point me towards an available ship? You don't even have a ship. You're really up a creek. Up a creek without a ship. 
Yeah, they're, not, they're not very nice. If you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. LeChuck? Yes. The dreaded zombie ghost pirate LeChuck himself is also going after the secret. He's here in Melee getting ready right now. If that doesn't prove it's a worthwhile venture, I don't know what else to tell you. Great. Problem solved. Excellent. You'll do it. <laughs> no, of course not. Why waste money on an expedition when you can just join the one that's already going? Have fun with your scary ghost friend. Bye-bye. Well, the slight problem with that idea is that LeChuck and I are basically mortal enemies. Of course. <laughs> not that funny. I don't get it. <laughs> Fine. I don't need you or your money. Yeah. I can do this on my own. You tell him, Guybrush. If I can't buy a ship, I'll steal one. Damn I'm right. A pirate. <laughs> I'll find a way to get to Monkey Island no matter what it takes. We will. Uh, I like the old pirate leaders better. <laughs> Me <Same> too. Here. <laughs> I think we all did. <laughs> Yes. Side mission, people. We are going to get back the old pirate leaders. Oh, well, I'm going back in there because I actually want to visit the kitchen. Because <laughs> I bet there's stuff I can pinch. Guy Brush <gasps> Threepwood, as I live and breathe, how have you been? It's the old chef. He's all skinny. He's been on a diet or something. He's lost some weight. He must be cooking in them low-fat oils, Pug. He's cooking in something disgusting. Fine. How's Elaine? She was always my favorite governor. Also, she covered your tab when you stopped coming in. Same clean as a whistle kitchen, I see. Yep. She's good. No piece is missing. Kids yet? Whoa, easy there, Tiger. I'm still in my juvenile phase myself. That's what Elaine says anyway. Well, tell her I say hello. I mean, this chef has high standards, you can tell. The atmosphere in the bar is different than it used to be. Yeah, I don't like it, but I've got to cater to the new crowd. Everything changes, Guybrush. But the roaches stay the same. <laughs> I've missed your wit. And your low alcohol tolerance. <laughs> hey. Look at all the dirty maggots. Those new pirate leaders seem like real jerks. Why do you even let them in the bar? Well, they've driven off my old regulars, so I don't have a lot of choice if I want to stay in business. Also, if I tried to get them to leave, they'd probably cut me up and throw me in the soup. Frankly, I'm terrified of them. On the plus side, they have more disposable income and better hygiene than the old crowd. Did I mention nice. I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island? No, I don't think you did. Well, that's exciting. So you'll be hiring a ship at the docks? I'm thinking I'll steal one. As far as I know, the only ship out there is LeChuck's. Even better. Two birds with one stone. Bold. I like your thinking. Ooh, I think I hear the health inspector. What? Where? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, that joke never gets old. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Thanks. Will do. All right, what can we pinch in here? Ooh. A mop. Well... It's definitely a mop. Will you advance me the down payment on a ship if I help you clean up? Put that down before you hurt yourself. <laughs> what? Clearly there's a lot you don't know about mops. They are dangerous, Pugman. Honestly, I think I prefer to keep it that way. <clears throat> it's amazing what you can achieve if you put your mind to it. And you have a packet of stick-on stars. Hmm. He's a six-star uh, establishment, <laughs> as you can visually say. Pests or garnishes. A Ooh. good cook sources local supplies when he can. That's gross. Yeah, and you thought that he was just infested. He's actually using it for part of the meal. Mm-hmm, sprinkle it on like cheese. The food is more exciting when you can smell the risk. <laughs> <laughs> Active little guys, aren't they? Ooh. <gasps> okay, so... Oh, look what we've got now. The horse armor. This has gotten me out of a lot of scrapes over the years. So we got this because we pre-ordered this guy. That's right. I hope that means we're going to get a horse. Hmm, don't know. The pen is mightier than the sword. Trivia book. 
Ooh. Where can you find brambles? Brambles, brambles. Terra Island, Bare Bones Island, Scurvy Island, Mealy Island. Okay, what, what are brambles? They're like spiky bushes, aren't they? I don't remember anything like that on Mealy. I don't even know Bare Bones Island or Terra Island. Maybe they're from the other Monkey Islands. Well, what's on Scurvy Island? What's the Scurvy? The Scurvy Zogs, right? Is is that an island? I don't know which one this is. What should we go for? Oh. Bare Bones? I, I was actually terror. feeling terror. terror. I, oh my oh, god. Oh, yes. I, I knew it was terror. Yo, 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 yo. We are meant to be pirates. I was just testing the people. <laughs> Okay. Those are so fun. Everybody keep a lookout. I don't think there's anything else in here. Let's visit the old seagull. It looks like he's a statue. Watch the loose board. They've nailed it down, Chip Pants. <laughs> Somebody did a great a job. A fine job, too. <laughs> the plaque says, in memory of looming seagulls of old. Oh, can we pinch him? We can't. I do like the interface, people, that it is just down to one click or two clicks. Mm-hmm. I think someone tried to secure a boat with this. Well, let's pinch it. Because we're a pirate. <laughs> Beautiful looking guy. Jerks. Somebody hanging out the back window there. No spiffy. No spiffy. Spiffy the dog. I do appreciate how quickly Guybrush moves now. He moves quick. Feeling? Oh, that's what I like. Guybrush! Wait, are you going to tell a mushy part now? <laughs> well, a little, but I can skip over the hugs and kisses. Elaine, I doubt there was any. Guybrush! <laughs> I was hoping you'd turn up in this story. I was hoping you'd turn up in mine. Oh, she's much nicer now. How's your scurvy prevention project? It's great! We're going to get a lot of limes to a lot of sailors and save a lot of lives. I've got to come up with a way to deal with Captain Madison, though. The pressure she's putting on the town is making it hard for social programs like mine. Who's Captain Madison? Hmm. Is that, uh, the chick in the bar? Oh, the jerkies. You wouldn't happen to have okay. a ship with you. No, silly. I came on a charter, just like you. Yeah, I figured that, but it never hurts to ask. I'm finding it harder than I thought to get hold of a ship and a crew for my expedition. The new local leadership was less than supportive. Why don't you ask around at the docks? I'm sure you can find something. Thanks. I'll try that. Uh, sounds like we've both met Captain Madison. I don't like her. She's the one who pushed to shut down the shipyard. She doesn't understand the value of the secret of Monkey Island. She laughed at me. Me too. Obviously, the woman has no taste and a lousy sense of humor. Oh, I feel better just talking to you. Me too. I have to get going. Oh, so do I. Lots to do. Bye. Bye. Aww. Aww. You know what it this uh, the game kind of reminds me of the storytelling, mm -hmm. the movie The Princess Bride. You know the grandpa reading the story to his sick grandson, kind of going in and out of the story. I can't really remember it, Chip Pants. It's like oh, this is gonna be mushy parts, and then he skips past it. It doesn't look finished. The problem with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine, the best ever governor of Melee. Honoring Melee Island's 27th governor, Carla the Swordmaster, for her heroic actions at Porto Bello. Okay. Look at the little mouse there just looking at you. <laughs> it's Elaine's flyer about how limes combat scurvy. It's important, but boring. I've never once made it all the way to the end. Can we pinch it? Elaine would kill me if she caught me pulling down her flyers. But we're a pirate. <laughs> Oh, it's the old voodoo place. She's going out of business. Well, the voodoo here must be authentic, culturally and historically accurate. The sign says so. Going out of business? This place is an institution. Let's get in there, Guybrush. Put it right. Ah, the International House of Mojo. This place hasn't changed in years. Everything's Welcome, out. Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again. 
I have been waiting for you. She sounds the same too. Oh, I love it. You mean... Fate ordained that you would be here several minutes ago. Only you can manage to be late, even when you are fated to arrive. It's a gift. Allow me to seek knowledge on your behalf. Will it cost me anything? Pride. Free will. Not much. <laughs> way to the secret is like a serpent which swallows itself. Many obstacles lie ahead. Serpent, obstacles, got it. <laughs> Ooh. You must walk the path. Yet you have already walked the path. And now I'm going back again. When you are unsure of the way forward, open this book for guidance on what is to come. It can tell me my future? In a way. Think of it as a book of hints. What is it really? A book of hints. Use it wisely. <laughs> to know too much diminishes the voyage. Neat. Thanks. No charge. Now you must go. I have a luncheon. And your destiny lies at the docks. It does? Most assuredly. Mm. Wow. Let's have a look at this book. Okay, that's the string. Does it allow you to untangle it? How do I get my own ship and crew? Talk to people around town to see if they can help. Okay, so it's just a hint book. Yes. That's what it looks it like. It seems like the pirate leaders won't be able to help you. Perhaps you need to steal a ship from someone else. Okay, so it kind of saves us uh, calling the hotline back in the day. <laughs> Excellent. I appreciate that, Ron. <laughs> Don't have to call up to see what a rubber chicken does. Wait a second. Y'all had a hotline back in the day well, from Monkey Island? Closed by order of Madison Enterprises. Oh, Chip has oh, lots of games did back in the day. my favourite novelty store. Did you have to pay for it? Was it free? Of course you had to pay for it. And there was, it wasn't... But we were paying in aging in life, stuck <laughs> on a game, if we didn't pay for the phone bill. Uh, what kind of person would just paint on a wall? There's like graffiti that? everywhere. It's kind of run down, hasn't it? It's not what it used to be. Elaine would never have stood for this when she was governor. Much like everything in life. This place has kind of gone downhill. Yep, bit of skybrush. Know how you feel. Oh, yeah. That clock has been broken for decades now. What's this place? Wally's Maps. Looks Wally. like Wally's got a new place in Melee. I hope he's not still sore about the monocle. Oh. We got him another one. At Chamber of Commerce Midnight Luncheon. Back shortly. Pop quiz, people. Got my own trivia for you. Who was standing right here at number one? Oh, I know, Chip Pants. Give him a clue for those that may not know. Give him a clue. Do you like rats? That was a good one. <laughs> it wasn't Stan, was it? <laughs> what the? What, what is this? An old woman. Is that human? <laughs> yes. Like, I'm squinting my eyes. That doesn't look like a human. <laughs> it looks see? like Jar Jar Binks from Star Wars. <laughs> Misa don't think so. <laughs> oh, I know Jar Jar when I see a Jar Jar. She's got white hair. Could All be right. his grandmother. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> thinks they know more than the other. Okay. Come on, that's Jar Jar, people. Now, once you have a key, you've got to open the door. Huh. Looks like a volcano island with horns that swallowed a basketball. The note says... Forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. <laughs> That's the old um, shopkeep, isn't it? Mr. Be right back. Be right back. So who's, who's, I didn't. That's just weird. There's an alien upstairs. <laughs> oh, trivia card. Oh. Yes. People, you were slow on that one. My eagle eyes just zoomed in there instantly. I did miss that one. I may have used a little cheat there, but. No. No, not there. I didn't mean to do that. I want the trivia book. 
Pugman. Are you sure, Pugman? You're just <laughs> magnetized to that cheat book. Right. Who did the voodoo lady sell her cauldron to? What? I don't know this this one. I uh, wonder if it's going to be doing all of the Monkey Islands because we've only played one and two and three. It's got to be a soup shop on another island. Ooh, I'll let you take this one, Pug. Going for it. Boom. Are you okay? I was just playing with your people. I knew that all along. <laughs> Is it? Was that in the cheat book too? <laughs> Employees only. So this was the weird door that led to the bottom of the theme park, or... You know? Yes. It seems to be stuck closed. Damn it. That that clown, he looks like Stan. But he does have Stan's hair, doesn't he? It's just so wonderful to be back. Aww. This is where I risked my neck for Elaine, and she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Also, the windows need some work. Stay so dope. It's like a reunion. A visitor! Oh, right. <laughs> Wait. It's back in jail. Guy brush three wood? Ha <laughs> ha! Otis! Howdy, kid! And Stan! Oh, he's in jail Otis, too. old pal. You haven't changed much since I last saw you. I blame the government. I'm happy about in that fact, one. didn't we first meet right here? <laughs> Not at all. I was in the other cell that time. He was in the other cell. You look different somehow. Uh, new art style? How nice of you to notice. <laughs> I like it. New art style. Big news. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. That sounds fantastic. You know what I remember most about Monkey Island? The time you busted me out of jail right before we went there. <laughs> I don't cruise ships anymore. But maybe you can still help me out. Like you did all those years ago. Possibly, though it was kind of tricky last time. And I didn't get much out of it in the end. No, we didn't. I would didn't. be most appreciative. A locksmith has opened very conveniently across the way. I am told locksmiths can make keys for things. Uh, things like cell doors. Imagine that. You know what I remember most, Otis? Is that you mutinied and did no work when we did all the work to get you out of jail the first time. He just worked on his tan. What did they get you for this time? I'm a victim of circumstance. Circumstance being that too much attention gets paid to little things that don't hurt anyone while hard killers roam the streets with pistols and swords. swords. I notice you didn't say what crime they locked you up for. It was nothing. I was just picking some flowers. In the forest? Uh, no, that's illegal. I learned my <laughs> lesson. I picked them from the governor's garden instead. Eh? That's what put him in jail the first time. He can't help himself. What's his deal with picking flowers? Picking flowers from the governor's garden sounds like an unwise choice. We used to be friends. Sort of. Anyway, they aren't even her flowers. Taxes pay for them. It's public property. I don't know why anyone bothers me about it. I don't hurt anybody. Well, except the flowers. They're annuals. They're doomed anyway. Guybrush, you gotta get me out of here. It's custard night. <laughs> I don't think I can take that again. <laughs> I'll make it my number three priority. Thanks. <laughs> I'm going to remember that one. <laughs> now, I'm going to be honest with you, friends. Watch your boots in here, son. It's like a swamp without the clean parts. I'm kind of glad he's behind bars. No, He can be man. as annoying as heck. We, we nailed him into a coffin. Don't you feel a little bit guilty about that? Hey, Stan. Hello there, no. son. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Sorry to see you in jail. Thank you, son. I appreciate the thought. I'm sorry to see me here as well. Now, I think his voice acting is slightly different, but he's still got the flailing arms. That's all we need. I was really hoping to buy a ship from you. Well, now, normally, I would do absolutely anything to get you into a comfortable ride right away. But my hands are tied. They're shackled. They don't look do tied. It. Not at any <laughs> price. I'm completely out of inventory. Every ship on the lot was seized by unscrupulous lawyers who don't care about your sailing needs the way I do. Oh, that's terrible. Believe me, I feel worse about it than you do. Well, the head movement is fantastic. Could I get a ship from you after you're out of jail? Don't count on it, son. I expect to be released any time, but I haven't even got anything on back order. It pains me to lose a sail, but if you need to get off this island, you're gonna have to find another way. Could you refer me to a competitor? Stab me in the heart. You'd go to a competitor? 
Where's your loyalty, son? Hey, if well, you don't got what I need... in jail and have no ships and can't help me, I thought... It doesn't matter anyway. There's no competition. I drove them all out of business long ago. Nobody can play the angles like old Stan. I didn't really anticipate a situation like this one coming up. Any tips on how to steal a ship from someone else? One word, son. Mutiny. Get yourself on board a worthy vessel, gain the confidence of the crew, wait for the right moment, and strike. If you don't get killed, look me up afterwards. I'll give you a good price for anything that can stay above the waterline. Naturally, it'll have to be store credit until I get back on my feet. Your choice? Not bad advice, maybe. Okay, well, thanks, I guess. Anything I can do to help you, let me know. As long as it doesn't involve selling you a ship. <laughs> um... What did you do that got you arrested? Let me tell you something, son. It's not what a man does that matters. It's who he is. Maybe one day, in a moment of weakness, he crosses a line. But if he's confident about what's in his heart, he can hold his head high. And you know what's in my heart, son? Blood and goopy stuff? People. People are in my heart. Oh, sure, Stan. Anything I may have allegedly done, you can be sure I did it because I care about people. He's a classic salesman. What exactly did you allegedly do for people that got you arrested? I gave them what they wanted. Now, naturally, people don't always know that they want the things they want. <laughs> sometimes it takes a man with a talent like mine to show them the way. And sometimes people who are jealous of that sort of talent will try to put all sorts of unpleasant labels on it. They use hurtful words like scam and misrepresentation <laughs> and even fraud. But it's all just marketing, son. As natural as the rocks and the trees and the Malay Island flounder birds. And that's why I'm not worried. I'm awaiting final judgment of the court, but I'm certain I'll be acquitted. They don't hang people for marketing. <laughs> it's all caught up with them. Didn't you used to have a law practice or something? Used to, but I was disbarred for what we former law practitioners call moral turpitude. Is that a real word? More or less. It's one of those handy catch-all words that you can use whenever you want because it doesn't mean anything specific. <laughs> Would it help if I broke you out of jail? Now that's a kind offer, it truly is. Warms me to think that you'd do that for your old pal Stan. But I've got to think about the optics. I don't want to damage my case, and escaping from jail doesn't look good at trial. So thanks, but no thanks. Okay, well, he's confident. All right. He thinks he can beat it. See you later. Yep. Okay, anything we can loot in here? It says jail rules. One, no escaping. No escaping. Not a bad rule. Ooh, trivia card. A trivia card. I don't remember this place being so leaky. They finally installed running water. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's have a look at this trivia card. Okay, people, gather round. What does Morgan Lefley have a tattoo of? Who's Morgan Lefley? I think I know that name. Oh my gosh, I thought I was gonna know most of these. The name of her sword fighting trainer. Morgan Lefley. Maybe I don't know this one. The name of her first love. A list of her victims. A doodle of Guybrush. Is it going to be a list of her victims? Morgan Lefley. And now I'm trying to think like Mr. Ron Gilbert here. A list of her victims, wouldn't it? That'd make a good tattoo. Yes. That's why I'd get your name written on my chip pants. <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh. Oh, bugger, so what happens then? Do we not keep the card? See if it's still on the wall. Is there an X on it somewhere? Oh, darn it. Guess we don't get it. Bugger. Maybe we can try and pick it up again. Is it still there? Yeah. It's gone. Dang it. All right, friends, going to leave it there for now. You look like you're having a good time. If anybody knows the That's answer nice. to that one, please let us know. So we'll see you in the next video, friends. Until then, you guys have a party. Good evening. Arr.
<laughs> That's goodbye, pirate. They say the only real prison is the one in your head. But take it from me, that's a load of barnacles. Save and quit.